everybody, it's Suzanne and welcome to my channel. Well, today is a special day. What makes it so special? I have a new friend and it's all the way from Germany and I'm so excited because as long as I've been here in this country, I've met people who had relatives that were German, but I've never met anybody from Germany. So, it's, it's a special day. It, it's always a special day when you have a new friend because friends are cherished, right? So, and another new friend, um, actually, um, she made a mistake and put in an order and it, it, it wasn't it's supposed to be like that. And so she wrote me and she says, no, no, that, I didn't do that. I, that wasn't... I don't know how that happened. Don't send it. I never ordered it. And so, and she had paid for it and everything. And I had gone in and got the um, information, put the sticker on the box for shipping of it and all that. And then, good thing I looked because, you know, there was a note there. It said, no, no, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know how that happened. So, I understand how things happen. You know, strange things have been happening and not to be ignored. Like, I have always done that, if you want to call that a fault or whatever. I've always just ignored stuff that I had no, um, I don't know, I just didn't, I just didn't have interest and so you know like going back well I'm going to talk about that all later but that's a special day okay this baby here I mean this doll it's not a baby this doll uh it's good it's not bad or anything like that we don't do creepy stuff here but I mean actually when you think about it I just got that doll and it was labeled as creepy zombie and when I looked at it I said where I don't see creepy zombie so I ordered it and when I got her and I did the video uh, the video before was the zombie she's not creepy zombie so we don't do creepy zombie around here, but uh, there are things that go going on around here, but they're funny or they're, you know, some sort of comical little bit to it or it's not anything bad or anything like that. Some of it's a little bit down or sad or whatever, but I'm getting, you know, better in tuned with all that, but there's nothing bad. So... This one here, she's uh, the confused one. She's a little, she's a little doesn't know where she is. So um, I'm going to, I bought her to uh, fix up anyway. She was really um, cheap. I think she was like, I can't remember, 15 or 19, something like that. At dollars and uh, all she needs to do is be restrung and kind of fix fix her hair a little bit fix her face a little bit and um, you know I'll actually sell her for for 40 or so so she's not you know it's not big money or anything like that but that's not it I just fix them here in the little hospital and so far I haven't even like gotten into the big jobs yet but I'm waiting for the holidays to get over so I can have my table and have room and as soon as Thanksgiving and all that's over with um, I'm going to start with painting and all that but this one she's got some vibes that come from her that are a little bit um kind of confused side she just doesn't know she needs to go to a home a special home and I'm going to get her fixed up and we're going to do that okay this one here he's a happy one and um he's also for sale and um so there's not all these dolls are keepers but um uh so that's what's going on those two will be uh, coming up for sale real quick here like this week and um all right so I have an announcement ah uh, lots of stuff going on I better talk fast right no no don't talk any faster so announcement my poodle happy 
she's going to have her own channel where she does all her happy things that she does. So instead of making the third channel, I decided to give her my inspirations channel. So down below in the um, description box, um, you'll see where it says Happy Land. Well, Happy Land is my poodle, standard poodle, named Happy. And that's a channel for dogs, for her. So the inspirations that was over there is all going to be over here. I'm going to do inspirations here because we need it. Um, well, I'll get into that, but we need to be inspired and stuff and all that. So I'm going to do inspirations over here. So, all right, giveaways. This is a Christmas giveaway here, Christmas Day. Whoops, Christmas, let's see here, Christmas Day. She is a Christmas Day giveaway. She's kind of a big girl. Um, so... Here she is. I will draw a winner for her on Christmas Day. She's not a small baby either. Um, she sits. Uh, let's see here. She sits at wait, 13, 14 inches sitting down. So standing up, she'd be way taller. But anyway, she's like real true size baby. baby. So, um... She is, she be a Behringer? <laughs> is she a Behringer? So, let's see, that's the thing. Yeah, so, um, I think, uh, let me see. Oh, she's a U-N-E-E-D-A Dow, 1983. So, Anita Dow. And, no, she's, no, she's not Behringer. But she has the cloth body like Reborn's. She's vinyl like a Reborn. Her eyes open and close. And she's like true life size. So she's Christmas Day giveaway. And, so, good thing I had that in there, right? Duh. Okay, so that's Christmas Day. Comment below. Christmas Day giveaway. Okay, Kinderbox. Kinderbox is one of the subscriptions that I uh, subscribe to. You know, they're all out there. You've seen them all. And I'm kind of disappointed at this for $25. I will be canceling because I don't like it. So I just want to let you know if you are thinking about it. Um, there's a little bit of... Um, bath salts here in here. There's a face mask. There's a lip balm. Eyeliner. This is a little one, little size. And clay cleanser. So let me get this little book here and it tells you all the different products. So the multi stick, what is that? Infuses oh, for, oh yeah, lip lip balm. That's this one that I showed you. <laughs> and then the face mask. So they do tell you about each product though. So I just didn't feel that the price was worth it. Um but uh, anyway, that's Kinderbox. If you were uh, thinking about subscribing, I myself am not impressed. So, But give it a try. Maybe you will like it. I don't know. But I'll be doing subscription boxes over here too on this channel. Okay. Um, Inspirations will be here. Happy has her own channel. Christmas giveaway. My two new friends. <laughs> So that's the announcement. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of research here. I'm a good student. I like school. And um, I've been checking out, like, what are the um, the different feelings and vibes we're getting from um, the dolls. And um, 
So, just let me just tell you about the creepy haunted thing. Um, people think dolls are creepy, or they they call them creepy. My son, when he was here staying overnight, he threw a blanket over my dolls because he said they were creepy. And I said, "What? How do you call them creepy with all the Nightmare on Elm Street and all those movies you used to watch back in the day? And you think my dolls are creepy?" He says, "Well, they kind of are creepy." So he threw a blanket over them. So um, anyway, not real bad, but you know, he just was creeped out. So a lot of people do that, I guess. So I was reading, and that's a true fact that a lot of people uh, just are creeped out by dolls and clowns. People don't like clowns either. But um, so a haunted doll, uh, it, the origins of the earliest haunted dolls were puppets and um, effigies and voodoo dolls and used in rituals and used in various civilizations for a long time for mystical purposes and for the occult. Rome dolls were used often in magical rituals to represent a connection with a god or goddess and as Baal worship in the Bible where uh, idols were worshipped priests and magicians used puppets for ceremonial purposes to free the body of evil or to place curses or for whoever went against the will of the gods. We see that going on in Haiti still where they still practice the rituals and the voodoo and the dances and all that. The Wiccan beliefs use puppets to, puppets to place curses on individuals or communities for religion or traditional purposes. Some earliest effigies were used by uh, African, Native Americans,